It can be a real challenge to design parts that will be molded with fiber-filled materials. The addition of glass fiber reinforces the part in the direction of fiber orientation. We love the increase in tensile strength in flexural modulus, but we hate the warpage issues that arise, as well as the weld line strength reduction. Fiber-filled materials are anisotropic, meaning that their physical properties are different when measured in different directions. As a result, parts made with fiber-filled resin will shrink non-uniformly, which is what causes increased potential for warp. When designing for fiber-filled materials, we need to consider flow-induced stress, weld line location, fiber orientation and breakage, as well as fiber concentration. It is necessary to capture this information to evaluate part performance using FEA simulations. We have the capability to run simulations using flow, pack, cool, warp, and fiber information to determine internal stress, fiber orientation and breakage, and weld line location. Once the simulation is run, this information is integrated into a deformed mesh which can be exported and used for structural analysis. To demonstrate, we'll go to the Results tab and click on FEA Interface. This will open the FEA Interface Function Option window. First, we'll choose our stress solver. We're simply going to select the FEA software we'll be using to analyze the part. Next, we'll decide how we want to export our mesh. Original is for mapping the selected data on the original mesh without warpage results. If you select original mesh, you can export initial stress, strain, and temperature before warpage. We want to turn on internal strain for models without part inserts or initial stress for models with part inserts. Deformed is for mapping the selected data on deformed mesh that includes warpage results. And finally, the mapped option is for mapping selected data on different meshes that are generated by other software. Next, we'll choose our function options. Moldex3D FEA interface can transfer fiber orientation with anisotropic property to structural FEA software, as well as the density distribution at the end of packing. Weld line effect validation is an option as well. The local mechanical strength in the weld line area could be much weaker than others. It could be one of the most significant problems for structural integrity due to the potential failure in the weld line area. Strength reduction at the weld line can be manually adjusted depending on the weld line angle. And finally, we'll hit export. This is going to export your mesh so that it can be used with your chosen FEA software.